we are discussing check your understanding question number 9 in rotational motion from the book pathfinder it is a very amazing equilibrium question so let us see what is the question and how do we proceed to solve it so question is there is a load which is suspended from one end of the uniform rod of mass this so this is the uniform rod you can see in the diagram and mass of that is given this is smaller and length is also given and it is then connected with the help of light in extensible thin cord this is the cord and the arrangement is placed on the fixed horizontal frictionless cylinder of radius r so this is the radius r cylinder in equilibrium the rod stays at angle theta so they are talking about this angle with the horizontal and distance between the point of contact of the rod this one and the cylinder with the cylinder and top end is this eta so this eta times r eta is 1 by root 2 now we have to find mass of the load which is this this we need to find out and the ratio of length of the rod to radius of the cylinder fine so let us see in this this is the this is the rod so this is tangent to the cylinder cylinder is fixed and this is the cord passing so this is also the tangent and this is the common point fine so see this diagram now this property you have used many times in many questions mostly in especially specifically in equilibrium questions this is a very very useful property there are standard questions based in optics in uh, instantaneous axis of rotation in fact in this chapter only in pathfinder only question number 2 is based on we use this property to solve question number 2 of check your understanding so what is this there are two tangents these two tangents will be equal length will be equal and these two angles will also be equal and this is the center right these two angles will be 90 degree you know this already so this is what i am going to apply here this is eta r that will make this also as eta r This angle is alpha. This angle is also alpha, right? So now it's very easy for us to find out alpha. Tan alpha is equal to see in this triangle. This is the triangle. Tan alpha is equal to eta r, right? So this eta times r. This is radius of the cylinder. So tan alpha is equal to eta. Fine. So I have drawn this triangle so that if we need sine alpha and cos alpha, we can very easily calculate. Okay. So just now two equations you have to write. Now see one thing. This is alpha. This is ninety. What will be this angle? i am pointing to this this angle is 90 minus alpha right i am not written because otherwise the diagram will have too many values it will be it will be confusing for you then this is 90 minus alpha this also 90 minus alpha and this angle is 180 so it makes this angle is 2 alpha right and alpha is known to us tan inverse eta so if i balance the forces along the rod then this normal will not come there is no friction right because cylinder is fixed unless so along the rod T cos two alpha. This is tension. What is tension? Tension is mg. Capital mg. Capital m. We need to find out. So T cos two alpha. I have not marked that. You can very easily see this is T. This is two alpha. T cos two alpha is will balance the component of weight along the rod, which is mg sine theta. Fine. So T is equal to mg because this is also in equilibrium. So G cancels then, and you get m value, which we have to find out is m sine theta divided by two times one plus eta square. Cos alpha, you can see from here, one by one plus eta square minus one. Little bit if you solve, you get this, right? This is the first answer. So capital M in terms of mass of the rod we have found this mass of the load. Now after that we have to also find out the ratio of length of rod and its radius, radius of the cylinder. For that, what I am going to do, I am going to balance torque about this point. See in this diagram, this is the point, point of contact of rod and cylinder. So if you balance torque about this point, there will be no torque of eta. So here, T cos alpha will not provide any torque, right? T sine alpha, torque of T sine alpha is the perpendicular component. T sine alpha into eta, T sine two alpha, sorry, into eta, and this component will be mg sine theta. Will then torque will be zero. So mg cos theta into L by two this distance. What is this distance? L by two minus this distance is L by two minus eta. So that's it now. I have taken eta on one side. L by two another side, so L by R comes out to be this. M two eta M sine two alpha by M cos theta plus one. I have divided by M cos theta this side also. Now again, M by M value we can substitute from here. So when you substitute M by M value and substitute the value of sine two alpha, two sine alpha cos alpha. This you can very easily do. So that is why I am not explaining in too much detail. So this is then if you solve it, you get L by R as this, right? So it's a very amazing question of statics which can come in J advance as it is, or with little bit of modification. 
So that's it. That was my analysis of this question. If you've learned something new, please give a like to this video and please subscribe to this channel also. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best.